got like a spider's. Okay, it's a massive. That uh, spider's huge. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh my god, that's big. Hello everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to Resident Evil HD Remaster. In the last part, we made our way down to these caves um, and we found a Star Wars member. His name was Enrico. He was alive before he got shot by some mysterious person. And um, we were speaking to him, he was telling us that the stars are finished and next minute a guy walked up behind us. We didn't really get to see who it was. He shot Enrico. Jill wasn't too startled. She was like, <gasps> who did this? And then next minute we went I went I went to chase the guy. And then as you can see on the floor here, there's the monster's feet. We killed the monster and now we're gonna carry on and look for We we came down here initially to find this stone ring which is used to go around this metal object and it turns it into a pro proper um, stone and metal object which is what we need to get through a door in the mansion and um, I think we're being a bit sidetracked now that we're going to go look for the guy who killed Enrico let me just, okay we're done in this little section so we're going to go back through the door alright so let's explore places that we haven't been I think it might have been Barry that shot Enrico because um, it kind of looked like his like his boots that we've seen him wearing before. There's a plant on the ground there. Um, let me just check my inventory. Yeah, we're not going to pick that up because we've only got one slot left. So we're going to go backwards, backtrack a little bit and um, check out the other doors that we haven't been down in these caves. We got another monster. Take one more shot, maybe. Yep. These take three shots with the shotgun. I kind of had to kill him there because we're kind of exploring around these corridors. But to have him on our tail, that's going to be a real pain in the ass. So it looks like we got some um, the acid shells. And uh, once again, we've only got one slot, so I'm not going to pick that up. I think we might need to pick something else up on our little route that we're taking through these caves. Because we've got two cranks now as well. We just got a crank from um, Enrico's body. And we already, already had a crank which we used to um, lower the dam. Or bring up the dam again. And um, So I, don't, I think the cranks may be different. Oh cool. Now look at this. We've got a typewriter and a chest. So let's, um, let's save before we do anything. Okay so we've just saved there. We're going to keep a hold of the shotgun. And put the pistol ammo away. Put the ink ribbon away. Um, I'm going to pick up a first aid spray because we're still exploring new areas and uh, I don't want to get killed. I think for now as well we'll put that metal object away because we don't actually need to be carrying it. Put the... I think these cranks are different. That's the old one, the green handle one. So we'll put that one away for now. That That's used on the dam. We don't need that for now. That's the new shaft that we just got. I don't really know what it's used for. So for now we'll keep a hold of that. And I think I might take another health pack. Like take another health first aid spray. Okay. So we've taken any face any encounters now. Alright, so we've got another crank hole we can use. Um This is the crank that we got from Enrico. So it kind of turns the um the walls around. So it makes you gives you something to stand on when you walk across. Bit of a weird mechanic right there. Um, there's a herb on the wall there. We've got healing sprays for the moment, so on our return back out of this place, we'll probably pick that up. Because I don't want to fill up my inventory slots too much right now. What is this on the wall? Can't really interact with it. It looks like hooks for holding something. Um, what have we got down here? A huge boulder blocks the way. So we need to do something to get that out the way. Oh shit, okay, 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 run, oh fuck, um, get in there. <laughs> oh my god. Jill's adrenaline, adrenaline right there, breathing heavy. So this opened up a new path now, right? What have we got? Um, shotgun shells. Now, did the boulder open up another doorway up at this end? We can check this out. 
What have we got here? Got like a spider's. Okay, there's a massive oh, spider's huge. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my god, that's big. This is a boss then. Whoa, he dashes like a crazy bastard. Look at this. Okay, they're gonna take one shot and keep moving, I think. The camera angle is gonna kill me here. I just know it. There's another spider on the roof. Okay. He's got some distance. He can travel right there with that dash, that dash attack. And there's a spider above me, shooting on me. Um, is, is he gonna? What's he gonna do? What's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? Let's give him a shot. Let's reload. Fuck! He's coming! He's coming! Um, move, move, move. Hopefully, the little spider there will stay up there because he's not giving us any trouble at the moment. Uh, the spider's dead. That's good. What about the little spider on the roof? Shall we shoot that from the roof, from the floor? Aim up. Okay, he's come down. I think these die in a, a couple of shots. Maybe one more shot and he's dead. We missed that one. That's not good. I think he might have been too far away. Come on, mate. Let's die. Where is he? Now he's dead. Okay. Now, with these spiders, once you've killed them, you've got to be careful not to um, step on them. Because you will get poisoned. Survival knife. Um, okay. So we've only got two shotgun shells left. We've spent quite a lot of bullets right there. What's the survival knife you've used for? Is there anything else to be found? Okay, there's a big spider on the wall. Okay, there's um, cobwebs. A huge spider web blocks the door. If we use the knife on this spider web, we have to equip it, okay. If we slash at the wall, yep. Now there's another spider on the ceiling. We can't really kill that with the ammo that we've got. So we're just gonna try and get past it, okay. So hopefully there's no big monsters now in front of us because we've got very limited ammo. Um, let's get the shotgun equipped again because the knife is going to be pretty crap, I think. Where are we? We're in a new zone. What's down this way first? There's a door at that end. This end we've got we've got the map of courtyard B1. That's where we are right now, basement one. And we've got some healing herbs. Did, it, did we take any poison damage from those spiders? We didn't. I'm going to pick up this green herb and use it just to get myself to full health. And we'll leave the uh, the blue ones there for now. Just so we got those inventory slots um, empty. So I don't think we can really even kill anything with two shotgun shells. And what is this? What is that? I don't know what that is. That reminds me of the hooks where I got the shotgun from. It's the same shape, so you must have to put something on this. You can't even interact with it to, to see what it is. I mean, that's not going to do anything, is it? What am I thinking? So let's go for this door. Hopefully we'll find some shotgun ammo. <laughs> now, if there's some monsters ahead, we'll have to run back and go back to the chest and pick up um, a different weapon. I think I'm hearing some footsteps. That's not mine. I'm trying to see which way is the best way to go here. Alright, so there's another bowl there ahead. There's a crank hole. If we use the crank, it's gonna turn the wall around. Now, I'm expecting this bowl is gonna come chasing after us now. So we need to run away from this. Um, a huge bowl that blocks your path. Alright, so if we run away, is it gonna come again? What about if we go this way? No. Alright, so. There is a path somewhere. I think it's just if we come back this way and go this side. Is, this, is that where we just came from? That's where we just came from. Um. Yeah, the path that we're looking to go through is right there. But we've turned it round so we can't get to it. Let me just try and turn the crank again. See if we can still step on it, but go that way. See, not right now. Um, try and turn it one more time. See if that works. Okay, we got a different camera angle here, so it looks like we're doing something right. Just gotta be careful of this boulder now. 
Fuck. Okay, so I'm gonna run backwards. Go on the side here. Phew. That was a close one. So there's gonna be a path opened up now ahead where the boulder came from. I think we'll check that out first. There's a first aid kit there. Um gonna keep that inventory slot empty again just because you know it's we need to have it free in case we find anything useful that we really need to f pick up so there's a new door here oh my god where are we <laughs> this is like a proper tomb isn't it so we've got some kind of puzzle here Looks like we need to put these statues in the wall or something. Can we push this statue? I think that statue might be in the right place. No, okay. That is used for turning things around, it looks like. So if we get this statue, maybe if we bring it over onto that, turn it around so it faces outwards. Now, I don't know how I'm going to bring it to... Um... Let me just put the crank in the wall, see what this does. Okay, so I know what to do there. If we push the statue um, in front of that and then push the crank, you know, hit will push the statue out. So we need to use the crank again first and put that put that in that section away. All right, so now if we push the statue over here in front of this, um, I don't know what you call this push out block. I don't know. And now we put the crank in there. We'll push it outwards. And then we can put it on the circle bit. I think we should just push that in now, shouldn't we? Yeah, because we need to get behind it anyway. That's in the way. Now if we push this on the middle section... It should turn around the um, the statue. I think we need to turn it one more time. So if we push it off. Then push it back on. Okay, I'm spinning around. <laughs> so push it on again. It should turn around again. There we go. Now as long as we don't put it on the circle thing anymore. We can push it straight over to the hole in the wall. And that should do something for us. Oh god, I hope I can get behind that. Okay, that's good. Thought I might put that too close to the other statue. Now we push it inwards. I think that's what we're looking for. That is a stone ring, it looks like. Oh no, it's not. It's a cylinder. So will you take the cylinder? Yes, please. Maybe if you combine the cylinder with the, um, the shaft. Yep. So what is that called now? That's a cylinder shaft. <laughs> of course it is. No, I think you have to ma match them up, don't you? The symbols are carved in its side. Will you turn it? Yes. Let's keep turning it until they match. You can only turn it a little tiny bit at a time, can't you? So we keep turning it. Having maybe one more turn and it's going to match. Here we go. Oh god, it, it went back to... Um... Okay, maybe we'll leave that for now, actually. And we'll check it out when we get to where we need to put it in. I still think we've just got to fall back now. We're done in here. So this can be used now, I think, in the um, the power like um, machine. I don't know even know what it was for. The power. Okay, we may as well actually just pick up the um, the medic box now because we're heading back to where we came from, and I think the chest is going to be on our way back. So we'll put this in the chest when we get to it, and the knife as well because I don't think we need the knife anymore. So if we head back, go back through the spider room, and we can put this cylinder shaft into the the power supply, and hopefully that will that's all we need to do to make it work. Just quickly check what we're we missing in here. I think there was just a couple of blue herbs, wasn't there? Yeah, we'll leave them there for now. I don't think we really need to worry about them because we've killed the enemies that can poison us, the um, spiders and all that stuff. 
Actually, there's still one spider left, isn't there? Just got to be careful not to get in his way. I think he's on the ceiling. I know, if we fall back, the chest should be in here. May as well pick this hair up because we're right next to the chest. Just stick it in the chest. We really need to switch out the shotgun now for a different weapon. So I'm going to get the revolver out, I think. Because we haven't even tried that yet. And we got quite a few shots for it. So right there, we've got the, the magnum. And we've got 12 bullets with it. We've got another 6 in, in the, um, the gun itself. We've got 18 bullets. So let's... Um, Head to, let's equip the Magnum actually, <laughs> that would be a good idea. Now we're going to head back to where we put got the um, the cylinder shaft initially, and we're going to put it back in with this new piece that we picked up and added to it. Let's quickly check the map, find out which is the right direction to go in. Now, if we come over here, this is where we got the shaft from um, to start with. Now, I think first, if we examine it and turn it around so it's all in the right place. Okay, so it's all in the right place right now. Now, if we... Let's look at what you can do on the top of it there. So, if we just come out with this now and then click on Use. It's not necessary. Okay. So what are, we, what are we missing right there? There's an empty space for a cylinder shaft. Sometimes see, something seems to be missing. Okay, so a cylinder shaft, that's exactly what we've got. Okay, we put it in now. <laughs> the game's a bit fiddly. A series of flashing buttons. Press one. Yes, which button will you press? Let's try number one. Which button will you press? Let's try two. Which button will you press? Let's try three. We press four. Nothing happening. Nothing's happening. You got the cylinder shaft. Okay, so it looks like we have to press them in a certain order. Okay, guys, I know what I'm doing now. I think when you turn this, right, it shows you which order the button should be pressed in. So it's that's four, two, three, one. Four, three, two, one. Is that what I just. Hang on. It's four, two, four, two, three, one. Four, two, three, one. We need to put the shaft in, dummy. Four, two, three, one. Four, two, three, one. It looks like the power has been restored. Okay, so we've activated the new elevator shaft. Now, let's go down. This is crazy. Going deeper and deeper. It's an elevator switch. Press it. I think that's we're done. Everything else that we can do up here. So we're gonna go down. Jill. Barry, thank God you're safe. You too, Jill. A noise I heard brought me down here, but I didn't expect to find a place like this. Have any idea as to what might be at the bottom? There's only one way to find out. Is Barry actually staying with us this time? I bet you as soon as we get down to the bottom though, he's gonna split up. I don't trust Barry at all. <laughs> what the hell is that sound? What do you think it, it is? A person. Jill. Go check it out. You go check it out. You're the man. Yeah, enough surprises for one day. Oh, I'll stay here and secure our escape route in case something happens. Okay. He's a real gentleman, isn't he? Bloody, you don't send the woman in and you step back. You are a pussy, man. You are a pussy. <laughs> Alright, let's check out what's going on around the outside of it first. And if we can pick up, do. You know. Can we talk to Barry? I'll stay and secure our escape route. Yeah, you said that. 
You're secure. What have you got? What are you gonna do? Just stand there. Oh, there's a chest here. That's good. We don't really need to use it though. Maybe put the crank up. I don't think we need the crank. Just leave it there for now though, because we you know, who knows, you know. Alright everyone, that's all we've got time for for this video. So thanks for watching. In the next part, we'll obviously look around this place, see what's going on, and Barry, see if Barry shoots us in the back. Okay, so thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.